Hello Leo, happy Sunday to you. I hope you are enjoying your day uh, and relaxing. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. You know, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? <sighs> Look how powerful you are. But there's something that uh, scares you. You see this? This is you being very concerned about your present and your future. Uh, and you feel you're going to have to take action. <clears throat> that You can't just sit there waiting for things to play out on its own. That you're going to have to take action. Control of your life. Yeah, you feel lost. You feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. This is you feeling scared. Feeling scared of failing. Um, hmm. Yeah. You feel emotionally unfulfilled right now. You feel very unhappy with your life. You're not happy right now. Very unhappy, actually. And you feel like you need to change drastically for the better because you feel emotionally unfulfilled. You feel empty. You feel unappreciated. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You're going to have to take control of your life. You see, you have enough power, wisdom, to manifest what's important to you. You see, you're going to have to take control. You have to be careful with your ego, though. And that's usually the problem for Leos. Leos can sometimes be too confident to a point where you uh, are not humble. So you need to learn humility, Leo. To be successful in life, you have to be humble right? Yeah. Sometimes, and that's a challenge for Leos because Leo is the only sign that is uh, uh, represented with the sun, the star, not a planet. So Leos can sometimes be overconfident, uh, sometimes even arrogant. So you have to be careful to humble yourself, to learn humility. Otherwise, if you don't learn humility, if you don't practice humility on a regular basis, uh, you're going to feel defeated, you're going to feel lost, you're going to feel empty. Yeah, so it's very important that you practice humility, appreciation towards other people, okay? Recognize other people's success, right? Yeah, give people credit where credit is due. Treat them like you want to be treated, right? Don't disregard them. You're trying to figure out if your soulmate loves you or not. You don't know. You're not sure if they love you. You think they love you, but then you question that. Let's see. You know, let's please show us what's coming up for Leo. And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? A lot of you are dealing with Aries, uh, Gemini, Pisces, and Virgo. Yeah, you feel lost, Leo. Yeah, you see all those swords surrounding you and hear swords surrounding you. This is you feeling like you don't see what you need to do right now. This is you worried too much, not being able to see clearly how to proceed correctly. Yeah, you feel unhappy. You feel attacked. You feel like you need to defend yourself, like you need to stand up for yourself. Yeah, you don't see clearly, but that is just temporary. Remember, we all go through challenges in life, right? Yeah, challenges are there in everyone's life. Yeah, everybody has challenges. 
you feel extremely guarded towards people. This is you raising your sword, trying to defend yourself. You feel like people are misjudging you or misunderstanding you. You want to reconcile with your soulmate. You, are, you also want to be on peaceful grounds with other people that you feel um, you are not connecting with right now. Yeah, whether it's your family members, friends, co-workers. Yeah, this is you realizing what's important to you. Oh, you feel so hurt. Your ego feels bruised. This is you feeling very hurt, disappointed. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Leo. All those swords is concerning. Swords, 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 swords. This is you over analyzing excessively not seeing clearly questioning your own sound judgment you feel like you're losing things that are the most important to you people that you love you feel like you're losing important relationships and people from your life and you don't want that yeah you don't want to lose respect of other people let me see what's going on here with this you know please show us Hmm. Wow. You know, please show us what's coming up for Leo. How is Leo currently doing? You have a lot of challenging situations going on at your job. This is you going through a lot of challenges at your job. Yeah, you feel unappreciated. This is you feeling taken for granted. Yeah, you see, you're standing up for yourself. This is you very guarded with your heart. You love your soulmate, but you don't feel loved by them. Yeah, look how guarded you are. You're extremely guarded towards your soulmate and extremely guarded towards the people you work with or for. Wow, this is heavy. I'm so sorry you're going through so much. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate of yours. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What is going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? They feel like they need to make amends with you. This means apologies, gifts, peace offerings, explanations. They're still holding on to you. Yeah, this is them trying to figure you out. What you're thinking, what you're planning, what you're feeling. Trying to figure out how to meet you halfway. <clears throat> yeah. They're not sure right now what you're thinking or feeling or planning even. Yeah, they do view you, however, as someone who is powerful, independent, strong-willed, not needing them for anything. You see, they have a lot of respect for you. Yeah, you are powerful. You exude power, confidence. You see, but you have to be careful with confidence because there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. You have to learn humility, okay? Because when we come across as overconfident we're going to lose good people, right? We're going to lose trust, right? Um, yeah, so it's very important and respect, right? So it's very important that you don't allow your confidence to take over to a point where people view you as overconfident, right? Yeah, so this is you needing to be humble, and if you've made any mistakes, like all of us do, because nobody's mistake-free, uh, take accountability for those mistakes, okay? Don't try to ignore them, because by ignoring mistakes, we're going to make more of the same mistakes, right? So it's very important that we look back and take accountability, correct ourselves, right? We all do it, so don't feel bad about it, don't punish yourself, don't hold grudges towards yourself or other people, but do address the issues that you need to address mm -hmm. for your highest good. This is for your good, right? Yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that 
soulmate of leo and how is that soulmate of leo towards leo at this time especially emotionally oh they're so attached to you emotionally but there's it's like there's a side of them that tells them to let you go completely and there's a side of them that feels they can't let you go just yet yeah emotionally they still this was a serious relationship though yeah a long-standing uh, connection between you two yeah wow it's not easy to let someone go that you've known for a long time or you felt strong connection with yeah this was a serious relationship you see this hierophant and ten of pentacles this combination usually speaks of commitment of long-standing like marriage engagement living together situation that kind of commitment yeah you see they're not happy without you though they're not happy without you look how much they miss you they feel disconnected from you yeah they feel disconnected this is them missing you feeling sad alone misunderstood greatly yeah they're curious they're checking up on you curious what you feeling what you thinking there's something going on at your job yeah a lot of shenanigans jealousy you see this there's some kind of shenanigans going on at your job be careful with people in your family getting involved in your soulmate relationship yeah a lot of people make that mistake where they involve their family members their closest friends instead of telling their soulmate what they really feel and think they telling their family members and that's not a good idea yeah that's just gonna blow up in your face don't involve other people in your relationship if you want to discuss something discuss it with your soulmate if you can't then you either let them go or the two of you should agree to seek some kind of counseling if you want this relationship to survive right so reaching out for professional help is a sign of strength not a sign of weakness don't be embarrassed to reach out for help if you want to save your relationship if your soulmate is willing to seek that help as well right you both need to go you can't just have one person going to marriage counselor or a family therapist and the other one doesn't it's not going to work both people need to be involved in counseling if that is the route they choose to take to save their relationship right yeah but it looks like a lot of you have kids in this relationship you see children are showing up here for some of you the so for a lot of you 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 have this strong bond with this soulmate and also kids are involved you have children with them or maybe from previous relationships they view you as very strong you see this person is frustrated with you though they feel that you are too stubborn at times that you are difficult to communicate with they feel that you are strong-headed that you don't hear them out yeah they feel frustrated with you and how you receive their communication so you need to listen a better yeah you need to become a better listener because a great communicator is also a great listener right yeah universe please show us hmm this is difficult for both of you universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of leo yeah you see they haven't given up on you totally yet you see this some of you are dealing with the sign of cancer yeah they feel emotionally unfulfilled so they feel emotionally unfulfilled in this relationship very frustrated but they also feel emotionally unfulfilled without you it's like a catch-22 they're trying to figure out how to do this what to do yeah this is them trying to figure out how to deal with this because they realize they can't let you go completely. Yeah. Wow, Leo, I'm so sorry both of you are going through so much. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life. That showed up as six of cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason. 
but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.